Give Jesus a hand. Stand up and let's give him a praise. Hallelujah. Praise him. Come on. Amen. Come on, y'all. Praise the Lord. That's what we came for was yes. to praise the Lord. Amen. Thank God good. Yes, amen. Amen. I may come for a blessing. Yes. Amen. That's why we're here tonight is to be blessed by Jesus Christ. Amen. The one and only. Amen. But you know, tonight, I, I tell you, I feel like running a rabbit here for just a minute, and then we'll get something going. Amen. But you know, if we begin to lay everything to the side and say, God, here I am. Use me for what you want me to be. Help me. Help me to be that light that you got here on the lighthouse. Amen. Help me to walk in the path. On, Amen. Of, of you, Jesus Christ. If we walk in his path, we may have troubles. He had troubles, but he was an overcomer. The devil was never able to destroy Jesus Christ. Amen. It didn't matter what come up. It didn't matter what went down. Amen. But God said we had power to tread upon the serpent. Amen. We have power over the devil. Amen. And the devil has held back so long on everybody and put his spirit upon them until we find ourselves falling slack. Amen. And we need to break away from that. We need to get up tonight and say, God, here am I. Amen. Use me, God. Hallelujah. The Bible said as many as two or three are gathered together in my name. He said, I will be in the midst. Amen. And there ain't but one way tonight to make it to heaven. By Jesus Christ. Amen. By the blood. Amen. Jesus said what? I am the door. I, glory to God tonight and there ain't no other way. Amen. We can walk to the door. Amen. We can ask God, God, what do you want me to do? We can knock on that door. Yes. And Brother Ray, if we'll knock on that door when we believe what we ask for, yes. amen, God said I'll do it. That door is going to open up. Amen. The devil going to be defeated again. We're going to be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Jesus died on that cross for our sins. And the only way we can be cleansed tonight is by the blood of Jesus. Amen. No other way. We find in the scripture tonight whether there's false teachers, there's false prophets, there's false preachers. Amen. That are teaching everything tonight. That is set for what we need to know in Jesus. Amen. But we need to step out and say, God, help the churches to come back to where we used to be. Amen. One woman took the prayer out of church. Amen. One person. Amen. And what happened? Why can the church not stand up? Amen. We're failing God. Amen. That's a reason. But we're going to have to come back down to the cross. Amen. And say, God, here am I. Wash me in your blood one more time. I open the windows of heaven and let me feel I have that mighty power as it comes down again. Amen. And God, show me what you want me to do. You know, old Jonah, God told him what he wanted him to do. He wanted him to go to Nineveh. Amen. But what happened? Jonah didn't want to go, and he got out there and he got swatted up by a fish. Amen. And he went down to the bottom, all the way down to the bottom. And that's where we're going to have to start tonight is all the way at the bottom and work our way back up with Jesus Christ because he is the door. He is the way. There ain't no other way. Amen. But we're living today where the, he said to mark the prophets. If somebody prophesies to you, amen, you mark that prophecy. Amen. If it don't come to, to pass, then it is a false prophet. Amen. The same way with the word of God. If we don't preach the word, amen, then we're going to be held responsible for it. Amen. And we're going to fall by the wayside. Amen. And go the other direction. The Bible said it's a straight and narrow gate. Amen is the way to heaven. Amen. But he said the wide gate. Amen. That wide path. Amen. It's where that they're going to lead you into the gates of hell. Amen. And tonight we need to know the difference on which way we're going. Amen. How many believe that God is still alive? How many believe that God is still able? How many believe that God's still able to heal the body? 
Amen. But we got to come together in the love and the unity and the power in the Word of God. We got to get back down to our praise. We got to get back down saying, God, you're God. I, I want to do what you want me to do. I, hey, put everything else to the side. I don't worry about what somebody else thinks about you. Amen. Don't worry about nothing but just being what God wants you to be. Amen. If you're doing what God wants you to do, then, Brother Ray, we're going to see things happen. When we begin to get up and stand on the Word, we're going to see things happen. Because God said, I am the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Amen. And he give us warnings just like he did old Jonah. Amen. And he's telling us, you better get up. You better get out about my business. Amen. Because I'm coming after a church. Amen. To have made themselves ready. Amen. Without the spot. Without a blemish. But I'm going to pour my blood upon you. And you're going to be cleansed. And you're going to be holy and acceptable to the Lord God Almighty. Amen. I want you to know that I believe in my mind that we are living in the last days. You can believe what you want to. You can act like you want to. Amen. But I'm telling you tonight, we better put out the acting. We better begin to worship God. Amen. In spirit and in truth. And walk in the ways of the Lord. Amen. Because he said he was coming back after us. If we're ready to meet him, that's going to be a wonderful time. Hey Amen. I looked at the moon shining last night. Big full moon. Hey Amen. Over here in the eastern skies, looking at that as it began to come up. Hey Amen. It was beautiful. Hey Amen. Joanne said, Stanley, get me a picture of that. Hey Amen. But I'm telling you tonight, we need a picture in our mind of what God's got in store for us. Hey Amen. We need in our mind what God's trying to lead us into. Hey Amen. By the power and by the word and seeking his face first, not the things of the world. World. And then he said, Come out from amongst the world. I'd be you separated people. And then we got to be different. And then if I ain't no different from them, then I'm in trouble. And then I don't want to be like the world. I want to be like Jesus Christ. I want to be one that can say, Yes, Lord, I'm ready. I'm, I know you're coming again. Amen. And I want to be prepared. Amen. But I want you to listen tonight. Amen. He said in the 24th chapter of Matthew, Amen. In the third verse, he said, and as he said upon the, the Mount of Olives, disciples came unto him privately, saying, Come unto me. Privately, and saying, Tell us. When shall these things be? And what shall be the signs of the coming of the ends of the world? And Jesus said, and Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Well, glory. If we'll begin to seek God and we walk where God wants us to be, amen, they're not going to deceive us. Amen, we're not going to follow after the fault, but we're going to follow after the man. And he gave his life for us that we could come alive and be washed in his blood and be promised a home in heaven. Amen, and that's where it's at tonight. If we're not ready, then we need to be getting ready. Amen, we need to pray for our family. God help my family to be ready help my brothers help my church Lord help the other churches Lord we need to come alive again in Christ Jesus I remember the times when I was just a young boy and then going to church with my mom and dad amen and we get in church and the power of God begin to fall and I said over there and I look around brother Ray amen and I see things begin to move I see the spirit of God God begin to come in and when they begin to come in things begin to change oh, glory. he said yes Lord amen I've seen them amen cast out the devils when they come into the house amen they pray over them and cast them out that they can have freedom again amen and that's where we need to be tonight amen it's where we can have freedom in Christ Jesus 
If he comes to having to cast out the devil, then we need to be what? Prayed up, ready, and then because he will talk to you and he will try to confuse you. Amen. But you know what? This word said right here that we have power. Woo, glory. Over anything in this old walks of life. Amen. That we know. Amen. That God is still God. Amen. Because his word said that I'm still God. Hallelujah. I can set you in freedom. I can set you in liberty. I can wash you. I can lead you. Just line up here and begin to follow. And then I begin to think about. And then when they was out on the ship. Amen. And Jesus began to preach. Amen. And he was out there preaching. Think about all the multitude that followed him and come out to the bank. Amen. Why did they come out to the bank? Because they know who that was on that ship. We better know tonight who our Savior is. We better know tonight. Amen. That he's the only way. Amen. That we're going to make it in. And if you think that God is going to save this whole world for things that he destroyed the world for before, you are dead wrong. We are looking today at things that are happening that happened in them days. Amen. We're living on a very little line as here comes Jesus. Ready or not, we can be ready. Have a home in heaven. Jesus said, I died for you. I give you everything I got. I tell all about that. Well, glory, I give you power. I tread upon the devil. I give you power to raise the dead. I give you power to heal the sick. And I give you this strength. And I want you to do it. But what happened? We ask in a mist. Amen. We need to get out of that mist. We need to begin to cry out, God. Your word said this could happen, and it will happen. And then, no matter what the devil said, God's word is going to happen. Amen. I thank God tonight. Amen. That I can trust him. I thank God tonight when I get down and out. Brother Bruce, I can get down on my knee. And I can say, God, here am I. Woo, glory. And he'll say, yes, son. I hear you. Well, glory. Amen. And I'm coming. I'm prepared a place in heaven. He said, if it wasn't true, he said, I would have told you. If God's prepared but in a place was not true, he would tell us tonight. Amen. But did you know that one of these days that eastern sky is going to split? Hallelujah. And he's going to come back after them that are ready to meet him. Whew. The Bible said without spot, without blemish. Amen. Got to be pure and hard. If we're pure in heart, we see God. If we're not pure in heart, we're going to be in trouble. Amen. Amen. But listen to what he said. He said, For many shall come in my name, saying, I'm Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, and see that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. I want you to just take a moment in your mind. You look at the things that's happening right now. The wars, the rumors of wars, nation rising against nation, kingdom against kingdom. But he said the time's not yet. Hallelujah, he's got a little more to be done. Amen, but listen to what he said. He said in verse 7, For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All of these are the beginning of sorrow. What are we seeing today? We're seeing the earthquakes. We're seeing the famines on these places. God is coming. Are we ready? Are we truly washed? Not a sin in our life, but cleansed from head to toe. Because if we're not pure, bless God, we're going to be left behind. <laughs> 
Hallelujah, but we better get down tonight to some serious business with God. We better say, God, you show me if there's something in my way. God, you show me and let me get it out. Amen, because I know that you're coming without a shadow of a doubt. God, I know you're coming. Hallelujah, I want you to know. And we need to be like it was on the day of Pentecost. Amen, when they were all gathered together in one place and one mind and one accord. Amen. And the Spirit of God began to move. Amen. I want you to think with me. He said the sound is of a mighty rushing wind. Amen. He entered into the house. Amen. He didn't say that it come around the window. He didn't say that it come through the door. Amen. But he said it entered in. Amen. And they begin to speak in tongues. Amen. They begin to receive what? power to do the things that God wanted them to do. Where do we need to be at tonight? Yeah, glory, we need a little of that power from the top of the head to the soles of the feet. Amen. But we need to step out. Say, God, I know you're coming. I know I see your works. Amen. And I'm getting very much ready. Amen. To call upon you more and more every day. God, I want you to help the church. God, I want you to help these churches that are falling. God, I want you to help these churches. Amen. And they're not following after you. Amen. They're falling behind. Amen. We need to come back down to the old cross. Walk with Jesus. Amen. There's no other thing any greater than knowing you've been washed in the blood and knowing that you have a promise that He is coming again. And that he is coming after you. And that he's coming after me. And what did he say? He said there's going to be a, a coming of the Son of Man. And the eastern sky is going to open up. Amen. And he said the dead in Christ shall rise first. Amen. And he said immediately afterward. Amen. We're going to leave this place. Oh, glory. We ain't going to be bound no more. Ain't going to be no sickness no more. Ain't going to be no problems no more. Amen. Because God is God. And he always will. Amen. Be God. Amen. We need to get a hold of that power. We need to get a hold of that anointing. We need to step out and say, God, I'm looking, Father, amen, for you to come home. I'm looking for my time, amen, that I can enter in that to the gates of heaven, amen, and say, yes, God, here am I. Let me sing with the angels, holy, 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 to God Almighty. Amen, Brother Bruce, I love singing. I'm telling you, that's something that I really enjoy, that old time singing. Uh, but we need to pray uh, and we need to seek God. Uh, amen. Every day that we can enjoy uh, and that we can have these things. Uh, we cannot have it uh, without Jesus Christ. Uh, amen. He walks with us. Uh, he talks with us. Uh, he'll tell us everything we need to know uh, if we would just trust uh, and believe in Him. Amen. amen. I, I remember reading in the scripture. Amen, where he destroyed the world. He destroyed the place where they was living where they were living in. Amen. And he destroyed him for the things that was going on. And if you think that he will not come to us and talk to us, tell us you're wrong. Amen. Because there's power, there is anointing in Jesus Christ. I want you to know tonight, old Peter and John, as they walked up there and old Peter said, Silver and gold have I none. He said, but such as I have. What did he have? Power that God gave him. Amen. To pray and to say, rise in the name of Jesus and begin to walk. Amen. And he could get up. The lame man could get up. And he shouted. I believe, Brother Bruce, he, I believe he shouted all over the place. Amen. When the Spirit of God had come into his life, I believe there was a change. Amen. Like no man could ever change your life. How many remember the 
first time that God entered into your life. Amen. And he said, yes, son, I am washing you tonight. You are my child. I will walk with you. I will talk with you. Listen to what I'm telling you. Amen. And begin to grow in Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible said everything that hath an ear. Let it hear what the Spirit tell them. What it's saying to the church. Ooh. What's your Spirit telling the church? My Spirit's telling me we need to be getting ready. I'm hearing from the Lord. The time's coming. <laughs> well, glory. And if we don't step out by faith, and hold on to that unchanging hand. Amen. And let the devil defeat us. We're in trouble. But if we'll just believe the word of God. Believe what he said. And hold on to the end. Well, glory. Amen. I ain't never had an airplane ride. Amen. But I'm telling you, one of these days, I'm going to get a plane air ride. Amen. When Jesus calls us up, I'm going to be in the air to meet my Lord and my Savior. And when I walk in, I don't know, Brother Bruce, what I'm going to do. But I can tell you one thing for sure. I'm going to be happy. There ain't going to be nothing to hold me back. I'm going to walk with Jesus. I'm going to talk to the disciples. I'm going to do everything that I can to glorify God. Amen. I'm going to praise him. I want to praise him here today. If we're not praising God, we we are in trouble. We need to get back down to the old country way. Saying, God, you see me. What did the Bible say? He said, if my spirit don't draw you, <laughs> you ain't going to make it. We got to have the spirit of God drawing us. We got to receive the word. We got to plant the seed. Amen. And God has already planted seeds. And it's fixing to be a harvest <laughs> that is going to be just as wide. <laughs> Ain't gonna be a spot on it, Brother Bruce. Amen. It's gonna be a white field. Amen. And he's gonna come back and he's gonna take us with him. And we're gonna rejoice forevermore. Have you ever thought about just for a few minutes to fall down on your knees and say, God, I want to rejoice. Just like I want to rejoice in heaven. <laughs> Woo, glory. Hey, man, I want to walk with you, Lord. I want to talk with you, Lord. I want to shout the victory, Lord. I want you to hold my hand, Lord. Help me to walk. Help me to shout. Help me to pray. Help me to seek you. Help me to walk with the Father. Hey, man, help me to do the things that you said we could do. Hey, man, and never turn it loose. Hey, man, hold on. That's what he's looking for tonight. People that have made themselves ready. Amen. That are getting ready to seek God and hold on to that unchanging hand and begin to walk out by faith. Amen. We've got tired. We need to step out again. We need to step out and say, Lord, show us the faith that you want us to have. Then not only show it to me, Lord. Help me to walk in it. Help me to act in it. He said today is a day of salvation. Today is that day. Amen. He said that faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things unseen. Brother Bruce, I don't know about anybody else. I ain't never seen the inside of heaven. And glory that I got faith. And then it is just like the word said. The street's going to be gold. Here go, and he's going to have a place prepared. Amen. I don't care if I see the gold. Amen. But I want to see Jesus. I want to talk to him because he has brought me through so many things. Without him, I couldn't make it. Tonight, without him, you can't make it. But I'm telling you, the church needs to come back to being a church. We need to, we need to grow in spirit. 
We need to grow in the truth and the word of God. We need to listen. We need to pray one for another. I want you to just think back with me. I, I, get, I get things going through my mind so quick. I, I can't get that all in. But years ago, we'd go to church on Sunday evening. We'd step out there after church and we'd go home with somebody else. Or either they'd come home with us. Yard be full of people. I, wasn't nothing for my daddy to pull out that old guitar and begin to strum that guitar and play and sing. I, amen. Because that was his life. I, amen. And I want you to know I, today we see crowd out somewhere. I, the first thing we think of is who died. I, amen. Because we don't have family. I, we don't have family reunions like we used to. I, amen. We don't have our family. I, we don't hold to our family I, like we used to. I, amen. But we need to hold to Jesus. I, and say, God, help us come together that we can have the blessings and the things that you have in store for us. Seek God. Blessed be the Lord. He said, I'm coming. Ain't nothing going to keep him from it. The devil can't keep him from coming. The devil already tried everything he could do to destroy Jesus. But you know what? He just didn't have the fire. <laughs> well, glory, tonight I'm glad that Jesus had more power <laughs> than that old serpent. <laughs> Amen. That tried to destroy us in every area. Amen. That he fought you. He still fights you today. Amen. But by the grace of God, by the grace of God, we get up. Amen. Every morning, by the grace of God, we ought to say thank you, God, for one more day. Give me the strength. Amen. Give me the health. Amen. To walk and to do the things that you want me to do. Amen. Pray. Pray. Seek God. See if things don't change. <laughs> Woo, glory. I'm feeling something tonight, Brother Ray. I'm telling you, we need to get a hold of the power of God. We need to let the Holy Ghost have right away in our hearts when we begin to pray. Amen. And we get down on our knees and the Holy Ghost begins to move and he begins to pray. Sometimes I don't know what it is. Amen. Except it's just the power of the Father. Amen. Make an intercession. Amen. That I can grow. That I can understand what he has for me. What he has for you. Amen, ain't God good? Amen. I'm telling you, I believe when we come into the house of God, we ought to come in here with a praise on our mind. When we walk through that door, we ought to say, ain't God good? Or let God have his way. Amen, we need to have something to say. We need to have a prayer in our heart. When the singers are singing, we need to be singing with them. We need to be saying, yes, God, that's what I want. I, I want to walk with you. I want to hear from you. I want to talk with you. Amen. But I want you to know without Jesus tonight, there is no way that you can enter into the kingdom of heaven. If you're lost and undone, you need to talk to Jesus Christ. Amen. You need to make that your priority. Amen. And you need to say, yes, God, because here I am. And I do not want to burn in the devil's hell. Amen. But you know what? I want to be like the three Hebrew children. Amen. That was thrown into the fiery furnace. I want to stand my ground. Glory be unto the Lamb of God because they didn't have a doubt. They didn't have a a problem with it. They didn't have no trouble with going in that far. Amen. Because they know in whom they trusted. Amen. And when the door was shut, he said, did we not throw three in? He said, but I see the fourth man. And what? He said he looked like the Son of God. Woo! Glory! Amen. Looked like the Son of God. Amen. Separated. Amen. From everything else. God is God. We need to put him first in everything that we do tonight. We need to say, God, thy will, not mine. Let me step, let me step out of the way. Let your light shine. Help us to be exactly what you want us to be. 
And tonight, as I said, we've let one woman, and I'm not saying nothing bad about the women. I'm talking about the church now. We let one person take the prayers out of school. And with the church. But we let them do that. Where was we at? Why was we not standing for God? Why do we not stand today? Amen. Because we listen to the wrong thing. But if we'll seek God's face. Walk with God. Hold on to him. He said, I will never leave you. And I will never forsake you. Psalmist David said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. He said, I fear no evil. Even though, Brother Bruce, if we thought we was going to die, and we were right down in the bottoms of the valley, we wouldn't have fear. We ought to say, Yes, God, you're coming. Yes, God, I know that you are able. To deliver me. He said thy rod and thy staff comfort me. Sometimes we need that. Some, sometimes we need him to pull out the rod. Maybe strap our legs a little. It ain't going to hurt us. We need to grow. But put God first in everything that you do. And see if there's not a big change in your life. Not only you. But the loved ones you have, tell them Jesus Christ is still alive. We're not serving a dead God. I'm serving a God that is able to do anything. I'm serving a God that is able to heal the sick. We go about this thing a little wrong sometimes, and y'all forgive me if I'm looking at this wrong. But the Bible said if there be any sick among you, let them call for the elders of the church and they will be done. It will be healed. If they call for the elders of the church. Sometimes we try to get ahead of ourselves and we want to we wanna call them. Or we get to the altar and we find ourselves standing there giving an altar call. And we're waiting because people are going to come to us and they're going to tell us something. You know what I'd rather do? I'd rather have this altar call tonight. And I'd rather you, if you need something from God, to bow at the altar. You do not bow to Stanley. I'm just human. Blessed by the power and the word of God. Whew. God is real. We need to bring everything to him. Bring it right there. We lay it on the altar. When we get through, Brother Bruce, and we get up and we don't take that back, then we see things happen. So many times people come to the altar and they carry it back home with them. And I'll tell you this, and I'm going to close. But I had an aunt, and she was in a wheelchair, and we were sitting in the church and God began to move. And they prayed for her. You hear it, I said they prayed for her. They were serious with God. And God said, I'll do if you ask. She got up out of that wheelchair. She shouted all over that pulpit. She had her a good time in the Lord. But where she messed up, as she turned around and went and sat back in the wheelchair. Never go back to what delivered you. What God delivers you from, don't never go back to it. Always go forward, not backwards. Because God, he'll, he'll do anything that you ask him if we believe. And tonight I love you. And if there's anybody here tonight that needs a touch from the Lord or anything else, we'd be glad to pray with you. If you're lost and undone, God knows your heart. But I'm telling you tonight, we need to hold to the Word of God.